Welcome everyone to AEW Dark. Tonight we'll have the Mick Foley announcement. Also, Abaddon debuts. Laredo Kid returns to AEW. And also, we've got Orange Cassidy going one on one with Warhorse. And also, Shinsuke Nakamura in our main event. So this episode of AEW Dark, half the heels of Double or Nothing, kicks off with Excalibur and Renee. They welcome everyone to the first episode of Dark after the biggest show of the year. They discuss the main talking points of what happened this past Saturday, the MGM, and then turn their attention on what to expect tonight. So Mick Foley is here to officially take over as Commissioner of Dark and he has big plans ahead for not just the Internet Championship but also up and coming talent here in AEW. Let's find out more. So we get 57 rating for this. Always round right about that 60 mark with uh, Excalibur and Renee. So let's head into that Mick Foley segment then. Kicking off well, pretty much a new era here on Dark. So Mick Foley makes his way uh, to the top of the entrance with a mic and begins to talk about how honoured he is to have been given such a great opportunity by Tony Khan to be commissioner of AEW Dark. He wants Dark to take that next step in creating and finding the next top talent. He wants more focus on the future and he wants to put that talent up against the very best that AEW have to offer week in, week out here on Dark. If you're good enough, you're old enough. This takes effect tonight. He also announced that Matt Cardona's internet championship is now the AEW Dark Championship. It's been coming. And there will be a battle royale next week to determine his next opponent. We get a really good segment rating for Mick Foley here. We're 72, kicking off this, uh, as I say, kind of a new era for Dark after that big show of uh, Double or Nothing on the weekend. So uh, Abada makes her debut. She crawls out the entranceway, dribbling what looks like blood. Danny Jordan stands in the ring, watching on with a look of fright. So we get a 31 for Abaddon here, although her uh, living dead gimmick got an initial rating of great, so that's good to see. So we're going down that same sort of route as AWR in real life with Ev Elevation. Um, and we could say, oh dear, it's a really poor start to uh, to Dark this week. Abaddon with a 30 in-ring performance, so that's really good to see. It's really promising, but the match overall getting an 8 has to be our worst match yet on uh, in this save on TEW. A quick promo vid is played with a look back at this past Saturday, the biggest show of the year, double or nothing. The main focus, of course, the AEW Championship match between John Moxley and Kenny Omega, where Steve Austin was official enforcer. Aubrey getting taken out, Austin stepping in, screwing Mox over and out of his world title. And your new champion, Kenny Omega. So bumping up those segment ratings here with a 71. We move into our next match of Dark. The Acclaimed against the Hybrid 2 in a terrible match. The Hybrid 2 finally getting a win after almost being the whipping dogs of the AEW roster since, well, the start of this AEW save. So a really good performance from both Jack Evans and Angelico as they pick up a win. Well, after the match, Evans and Angelico cut their celebration short and beat down the acclaimed Max Caster and Anthony Bowens. Both seem frustrated, but also relieved at after finally picking up a win here in AEW after such a long time. And we get 36 segment rate in there. It's a decent match between Matt Seidel and Laredo Kid, who does make his long await return to AEW. And it is Matt Seidel that goes over. He was in desperate need of a win, just like the hybrid to Matt Seidel. Always that, that easy guy that you can pick on just to put over other guys on the roster. Hate doing it. And this is why I think we need to flesh out the roster a little bit more with, with more up-and-coming talent, if you will, that's prepared to put over other guys. Well, Matt Seidel has won, cuts his celebration short to offer a hand of sportsmanship to Laredo Kid, who looks at it and then accepts. Great performance by both men, as you'd expect. High spots here and there. 
But Lance Archer, the murder hawk monster, slides into the ring and attacks both from behind. Seidel and Laredo are in opposite corners. Archer splashes both of them back and forth as you'd expect. He proceeds to then lift Laredo Kid up onto his shoulders and hits a devastating blackout. He then does the same to Matt Seidel. He lays them atop one another. Damage done. Lance Archer exits. So Lance Archer makes his long away return after losing that last man standing match against Jeff Hardy and it's on dark as well. Up next, Orange Cassidy against Warhorse in about that a decent reaction for the crowd but subpar wrestling Orange Cassidy goes over defeating Warhorse in 7 minutes 35 after a super kick. Orange Cassidy of course the better performer with a 57 there. Warhorse doing pretty okay uh, with a 35 there. The overall match segment rating getting a 50 uh, between these two and it will lead into maybe a small storyline maybe a formation we'll have to wait and see as you can see after the match Orange Cassidy and Warhorse look at each other after the match Cassidy decides to put out his hands to Warhorse in a show of sportsmanship Warhorse shrugs and then throws up the devil's horns instead whilst head banging Orange doesn't react so Warhorse grabs Orange's hands and shapes the devil's horns for him, then begins to headbang again, and he wants Orange to join in. Orange does, but very slowly, looking up and down. Warhorse is heard saying, it's a work in progress, as they then proceed to leave together. So we could see Warhorse joining the best friends. Excalibur and Renee then look ahead to this week's episode of Dynamite and what to expect. There will be a champion celebration for Kenny Omega. Why, Steve Austin, why? We might find out. Cody Rhodes has an announcement to make as the new TNT champion. And who will win the Tag Team Fatal 4-Way for a future shot of Matt and Nick Jackson for the Tag Team Championships? All that and much more tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite. So there will be two Fatal 4-Way matches. The winners of those will then face each other the following week for a chance to be future contenders for the Tag Team titles. And our main event tonight, Shinsuke Nakamura in action against Alan Angels, who isn't five yet in this save. We'll just leave him as Alan Angels for now. But it's a decent match. It ends in 7 minutes 52. Shinsuke Nakamura locking in that triangle choke. And the match gets a 52. Overall, this episode of Dark gets a 56. So we're going to continue building this up now. There's going to be more storylines as Dark forms into that second show. Maybe the B brand for AEW Dark. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon for the next episode of Dynamite.